Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, been learning about the Port Huron Sports Hall of Fame and taking a look at their new home on the campus of St. Clair County Community College. And tell us all about it. My special guest is the chairman of the board for the Hall of Fame, Ron Tolls. And Ron, one thing that's uh, kind of nice and unique and, and a lot of fun too, that you have a special ceremony when uh, you're going to induct your new class of inductees every year. Tell us about that. Yes, it's, it normally takes place last Saturday of October. Um, it's a, it's a sit-down dinner and uh, the, the plaques are presented to both uh, the individuals and the teams. We have achievement awards. Those are given out to individuals who are still participating in athletics, like a, like a high school student, might, a swimmer, a basketball player. They might have accomplished something significant that year, but still playing in the sport. So we honor them with an achievement award. So actually we give out uh, three different types of awards and, and we offer scholarships as well to St. Clair County Community College. And I guess one thing too, you also, you may, because you want to make it a special event, you bring in some pretty big name people too, don't you? We have been blessed over the years to have keynote speakers at each of our induction dinners. For example, we've had Brooks Robinson, Hank Aaron, um, we've had uh, Lloyd Carr, uh, I, mean, I mean the list goes on and on, Mark the Bird Fidrich, Ernie Harwell, I mean we have been blessed with uh, some of the keynote speakers that, uh, that, have, that have managed to, to to come see us and spend some time with us. Anybody locked up for this year's induction ceremony? Tom Wilson. We've already we've locked up Tom Wilson. Uh, of course, he's, he's steeped in tradition with the uh, Olympia Sports Entertainment. He's going to be a phenomenal speaker because he's attached to both the uh, uh, the Red Wings and and the Tigers. Okay, good. What makes you most proud of the Port Huron Sports Hall of Fame? Wow, good question. Um, the opportunity to well, it's a, the induction dinner is a first class operation. I mean, the if, if you could see the emotion uh, of some of those that are inducted in the families, it's it's most rewarding to see how privileged they feel to have been inducted. And we, and we try to keep it at a level to, to, to make it a first class operation. Where can people again get more information about the Portier and Sports Hall of Fame and when can they come down here and, and take a view of uh, the inductees and the plaques and the stories they have to tell? Good question. If the college is open, six day, which is six days a week, extended hours, the Hall of Fame is open. Uh, there will be literature here at the, uh, in, in, in the Hall of Fame room to, to pick up induction uh, applications, um, nomination forms, I should say. And, of course, the website, phsportshalloffame.com, will give you great directions on how to nominate. And you'll probably see some people uh, that you weren't aware inducted inducted on, on the website. For Dateline Schools... I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Reset.